Hi, Vinyl Community. This video is going to be in response to Ron Haggerty's thread to do a nautical or seafaring theme. Pick five albums that have to do with sailing or boats or ships or rafts or anything that floats. Uh, so I've picked five albums here and let's get started. So the first album that I have, and I'm not sure if anybody has chosen this, I'd be very surprised if somebody hasn't picked this one already. This is Candace, Point of No Return, one of the greatest progressive rock album covers ever. Uh, absolutely love this record, and it was uh, definitely one of their biggest albums of the 70s. Gotta go with some Beach Boys here. This is Summer Days and Summer Nights. Always loved this cover. It seemed like they were having such a great day out on the ocean. And the back cover's got a few pictures also from that photo session. So, always loved this one. This one has California Girls on it. Help me Rhonda, Girl Don't Tell Me. Uh, You're So Good to Me, Let Them Run Wild, which was kind of one of the earliest songs to feature the elaborate production that Brian would use on Pet Sound. So really great album. This is a mono version uh, of this album. And this one is sort of, it's got uh, the boat here. This is the monkeys, the birds, the bees, and the monkeys. And this is from an episode, uh, The Monkeys Hit the High sea, Seas, which is what this picture was taken from. This is kind of a collage. The monkeys were never happy with this cover. They thought it was real tacky. So I'm gonna steal this top corner section of the cover for my nautical theme, because it does feature the monkeys on a, um, you know, a sailing ship, which actually, uh, you know, featured very prominently in that particular episode. Um, so anyway, uh, the next one, I don't show much of my Elvis collection, but this one I felt kind of tied into it on the back. You've got a nice sailboat there with uh, Elvis standing playing his guitar on the sailboat. So I thought, well, this this was a, this actually this thread was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I had to spend quite a bit of time going through all my records trying to find anything that had a sailboat on it. But I thought this one met the criteria, so. Uh, here you go. Uh, you know, like most Elvis soundtrack albums, this one isn't all that spectacular. Uh, most of it are just songs from the movie, like Do the Clam is on here, which is not a terrible song in spite of its name, but there's got Puppet on a String, uh, Cross My Heart and Hope to Die. So, yeah, whatever. And then the last one, um, one of my favorite punk bands, uh, Men at Work, Cargo here. Uh, and maybe this is a little bit of a cheat, but I mean, you got water here and uh, I don't know, there's like a, you know, a, a parasail or whatever you call this type of boat uh, or a plane. Uh, I don't know what they call it. I can't think of it right now, but anyway, uh, I hope that this uh, isn't too much of a cheat, but that's what I'm going with for my fifth album. This of course was Men at Work's second album. And it had Dr. Huckle and Mr. Jive on it, Overkill, and It's a Mistake, where the hits off of here. And then pretty much after this, Men at Work's career tanked. And nobody ever really, well, they had one more album after this uh, when they were down to a trio, but that was pretty much the end of Men at Work uh, after that point. So anyway, those are my albums. And I love watching everybody else's videos because you guys have much better uh, albums to show than I do, but just wanted to, Jump, jump in. So thanks for watching.